Well, I'm very glad that I showed discipline because it's very exciting. This is looking very much like it's going to be my best ever result. So I sh was disciplined to only play one turn and not play another turn until I checked and edited the video. And I'm glad I did because they, it's good news and bad news, they were disrupted so they couldn't move. So these couldn't move in there. They have to come back remove their disruption and that was all good and the good news is that I spent an action to move them and that was lucky because this guy to move into there cost an action and I missed that I just moved him so the action we fudged we got back by making that mistake so we didn't spend too many actions and because they would have stayed those guys couldn't get into there would have had to go to there instead these guys could still get there they could still get there it's all good thank God because this is shaping up and we're now into the if you're into sports we're into the final quarter turn 19 and what will kill us what where the AI can kill us is with um, with the right sequence of musters or reinforcements or reinforcement events because these are all low numbered positions so they're all going to go boom 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 right there because we've poked the hornet's nest and that's where the AI is going to focus on us because down here we're running into a lot higher number positions so less is going to go there which is logical because my god they're cut off from their command they shouldn't even be in communication frankly but um but it's up here where they're going to start appearing so Probably the next two turns are going to make or break whether we can get make enough headway up there. So I might as well stick the camera a bit further forward because this is really where the heart of the action is. All right, we start off no landings ever, ever again. So we start off with an event. And if it's a reinforcement event, that's bad. We'll have to fight. Place, four to place a hero marker without a depth. Ooh, I like that event. I like that event and I think I already, this will be our fifth hero out. And I think I already said where he'd be going and he'd be going on this front. So he is going to go on that guy there. They're going to have to stop. We have to cut this off. We have to cut communication off, but we've got bloody swamps and all sorts of crap and jungle. So do I do him? Or do I do him? Never thought two hexes side by side would be such a critical decision. We will do him. Okay, Japanese fire. This is <laughs> another critical. We've got an R action, but it's not yellow. We have no, yellow's not our problem. I'm running out of places to put the cards. Okay, well, we better come down here for the time being and we'll just bang him there. So we've got yellow R's. Resupply, redeploy, reinforce. He can't resupply. He, he could redeploy to there. 
one, two, three. No, he'd be further away. He's not going to reinforce, so he's just going to shoot. He's going to shoot at him, and look at that. The miracle unit gets killed by long range fire. Two assaults didn't do him, but shooting does. Yellow. Ooh. Yellow redeploy. He can redeploy to there. Here or there. Gee, this is critical. This is a critical juncture. I better look this up. All right, we'll go through it. He will redeploy to an unoccupied position closer to US units. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and one. So he's going to go to one of these three. The rules state, if these can, the, can, if more than one unoccupied position qualifies, place the unit in a qualifying position hex of a different color. Well, all three are different colors. If more than one or none in the position nearest the redeploying position, well, that's those two, then in the lower numbered position. So he's going to go to green and save our bacon. How good's that? He goes to C2 instead of C6. <laughs> Holy dooly. Because I thought he'd go there because that would be closer to US units, but it's closer to where he starts. And they're all going to be closer. Oh, I thought we got done there. I thought we we're going to have to fight for that. Not that that was a problem, not with a single unit. We would have that sorted, but it was a fight we, we don't have to make now. Whew. Okay, yellow's over here. He has no units, so he won't resupply. He can't redeploy anywhere and he's not empty. So he does nothing. This yellow is no one in his field of fire, so he doesn't resupply, can't redeploy, doesn't reinforce because we're not within three. So that's yellow. Purple P, well, lose disruption, lose disruption, lose disruption. Everybody in fit, purple P does nothing. Purple P empty does nothing. This purple up here on the mountain top. Patrols out four hexes. Disrupts everything in his field of fire. There is nothing and out four. We're more than four away. So he does nothing. Over here. Purple loses his disruption. No other purple positions. So that's purple. Green, we've been running in running into and there is nothing green he is green but just redeployed we're not within three of that green and it's not a special action so it's only shooting and he shoots into that hex but not into that one and not into that one so we are through the fire card and we just lost the Miracle um, Artillery Unit. So we're through two of the problems. Now we've got the next event card. I will take anything. I'll take depth markers, even though they're pissing me off because we would have had him and we would have had him dead to rights in the last turn if they didn't get depth markers. 
I'll take anything except the reinforcement unit or a mo or a intense fire one hex. Oh, we got a good one. Scattered platoon regroups add one step to an infantry to a one step infantry unit. You beauty. You beauty. Do we do one of them? Do we do him? I think one, two, three, one, that'll be turn 19, turn 20. He's going to get into it. So we're going to give it to him. We're going to give it to him. Flip him from a one to a two because that hero is a coming. Oh, right. Let out a sigh of relief. We get our two actions. Let's start up here and try and make the best of this. Right, well, he's going to go one, two, three and claim that. He is going to go one, two, three and claim that. They are going to go one, two, and stop in the jungle. Or I could go one, two, no, they won't get any closer. Assault. Attack four to two. We have machine guns because we still have all weapons. So he is gone. He will move forward. We've got that. Cubed. one way we can stop that from assaulting and that's kill it it's going to be doubled green intense fire zones is the only thing or blues that could stop us they won't one two three Ah, oh, no, he 
have to stop there. And these artillery, maybe not him, he will come into there. HQ will stay where he is. Maybe I should have planted him. Didn't do the HQ phase. I'll, pl I'll plant him. Makes no difference. I didn't move him. So number one is now a CP right there. And this HQ, I was going to lift. One, two, three, four. I don't even think I can afford to lift him. Oh, yeah, I could. Yeah, I'll lift him. 7-1 becomes, loses his four range. And becomes a HQ. Right, so still got him who hasn't done anything. Got an undisrupted unit with a radio. Got to just check, just check the barrel. Yep, it's their advantage, they're much more flexible artillery unit can conduct a barrage if the artillery unit is in range or it's got unlimited range but is not adjacent the artillery unit is not in a hex in the field of fire of any non-disrupted unit it isn't the artillery unit is in command of a HQ so we're going to barrage that my thinking being that it's another place, if I can kill the depth marker, it's another place that gets a depth marker. Now I've got to remember, he becomes, he goes one to the left, so he becomes a three. So I'll disrupt him with the position's color and I'll kill the depth marker. I'll kill the depth marker if I get color and diamond. So I'm looking for purple diamond in Gadida. So that's that over there. Now here. Now here. Right. We're going to spend an action and move him into there. That's that one done. We're going to bolt him down to here. We're going to radio in the naval barrage onto that hex. We're looking for purple. We didn't get purple and we didn't get the symbol either. So it's just disrupted. God almighty. Got nothing. So he is disrupted. Not bloody I wanted to kill whatever that depth marker was. Right. Well, that's our last naval thing. So he is going in. Assaulting it. Can't attack and barrage, but you can certainly barrage and assault. Here. We can put 714 on this. Both are going to be doubled. He's already six. Crap. Oh, but he's not doubled. It's jungle. I thought it was coral. We have to try. I could 
pull the artillery in, in support, but then I can't move the artillery. I'm going to have to do it. So spend the action on him. That makes 14 plus the artillery is 18. We've got mortars. How good was that? I pulled the artillery in. So that is eight. He's worth eight and we're worth 18. Doubled him, killed him. Good night, nurse. You bloody beauty. So he can move in and occupy it. You bloody beauty. We got that bastard. He can move on to him, so he can act next turn. He's cubed, and we're into this nightmare now. Right, now he will move on top of him. HQ will go into there. And we're done over there, except for the close assault. And if that pays off, whoo doggy. So this turn we've taken two objective hexes over here. One objective hex here, so that was three. And three double pointers. Huge turn, just took six and none of them have intense fire into them so that's six secured hexes let's see if we can get lucky on this really wanted to kill that depth marker but two hits will do him oh thank god it wasn't a cc so he gets one for each unit, one for the CC, one for Coral. And we get four for Pips and one for HQ. It is purple. He misses. Purple, we hit Depth Marker dead. One step closer to Shangri-La, he loses a card, which would have been a hit. Oh, purple, he missed. We missed, hang on, make sure he didn't get an event that I missed, nope. Purpley hits, he should have, that's fair. Was a miss card. Come on, purple and we kill him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, he is gone. He's gone, we just got that hex. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. Disrupted, don't make the same mistake again. What a huge turn. Turn 19 may have just been the turn that won us the game. <laughs> I'm going to have to pinch myself. Right, 